Here we go, guys. We're on the air. Lloyd from Chicago, Illinois. And then Brady's going to try to not to find. This is Five Time Tic Tac Go. And now, here's your host, one more hand sandwiches, Brady Flippin'. Thank you, guys. And welcome to Season 6, Episode 18 of the Game of Strategy, Knowledge, and fun is Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. I have a great announcement for you guys. And y'all will get to see it at the end of this episode. More on that later. But right now, we have two champions going at it with each other. We have one champion who has won one win and $65,447. It's Brandon Martin. How you doing? Very good, Ronnie. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. You ready to play tic-tac-toe? Yes, I'm ready to go, Rodney. Good luck to you. And our other champion, who has managed to get tic and tac two times in a row, he has a total of $186,212. It's Christopher Rahman. <laughs> well, Chris, you think you can do it three times in a row? Well, I to see. I'm feeling it already. Just saying. Yep. Well, the record is four times in a row from a single person. I thought it was five. I think... You said. Yeah, I meant five. Yeah, you're right. Five times in a row. Good luck to you, Chris. Let's have fun. Thank you. Y'all know the object of the game. Get uh, by, You have to answer questions to get boxes on the board. And uh, you do this by um, putting three boxes across, up and down or diagonally. The out of boxes, unless it's a special category, is worth two thousand dollars. The center box, which is always a two-part question, is worth three thousand dollars. Okay, and it's tough. All right. Whoever gets um, tic tac toe will win every dollar that is in the pot and go on to the beat the dragon game, which can pay off at twenty-five thousand dollars in a prize package or fifty thousand dollars in a prize package and possibly a car. Okay. Alrighty. So if y'all ready to go, here are the first nine categories we're dealing with on Tic Tac Doe. We have sports trivia, opponent's choice, take a letter, game show host puzzle, William Shakespeare, the $10,000 question, WWE, double or nothing, and Star Wars. Okay, Christopher Rahman, which category would you like? Game show puzzle, game show host puzzles, please. He created, and this is your category you invented. I know. <laughs> That's why he's going with it. Okay, I'm just going to simply type a blank. I'm going to give you the name of the game show. You have to tell me the host, okay? Okay, okay. Here we go. Here are the blanks. And here's your question. Right. Child's play. Child's play. Say it again. Bill Clun, if I said that correctly. Spell it out. Spell it out. Bill C U L L E N. That is correct. It's Bill Cullen. Bill Cullen. Oh, that okay. is correct. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, because you was close. Yeah. $2,000 in the pot, and we shuffle it. And let me, uh, Show Brandon what we're it up against. You want me to do that, Rodney? I can do it quicker. Uh, you want to do it? You want to do it, Kevin? Why not? Go ahead, Kevin will do it. Thank you, Kevin. No problem. Bit of momento, por favor. <laughs> hmm. Go on, you stupid thing. There we go. And here it comes. And here it comes. I can't. Whenever you're ready, Brandon, select the subject. Let's go ahead and do WWE on the first left hand corner. You want WWE? You can have it. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so funny, am I? Here we go. 
Who who won a record time fifth United States Championship on May 17, 2010 in Toronto, Canada? Is it A, Booker T, B, Wahoo McDaniel, C, Bret Hart, or D, Kofi Kingston? Bret the Hitman Hart. That's the right answer. Good job. $4,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. All right, Christopher. Let's see. What, let's give a take a letter a try. All right, take a letter. Okay, and take a letter. You get um, you uh, it's gonna be a two part question. I'm gonna give you the answer with the letter in that begins with the letter. You have to tell me the answer. I'm gonna read you the question, and the answer will start with that letter. You have to tell me what the answer is. Okay. Okay. Now the first letter is P. P. Okay. <laughs> I always hear some jokes about that. If you, and, you, uh -huh. and if you folks out there in YouTube land are not laughing, shame on you. <laughs> Here we go. The letter is P. What was the name of the winged horse in Greek mythology? That's the first one. And the second one, your letter is G. G. What is the middle color in a rainbow? Here's your time to think about it, Chris. Chris, which part you want to answer first? Uh, second one, please. The second one. Your letter is G. What is the middle color in a rainbow? Is it green? Green is right. And for the center box and 3,000 in the pot, your letter is P. What was the name of the winged horse in Greek mythology? Mm. Is it Aaron? A-R... Damn it. What was your uh, answer? Eight. What was his answer? A-R-I-O-N? No. No. It starts with a P, so that's wrong. The answer... Pegasus. It's Pegasus. 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 Oh. Pegasus. Okay. 4,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. Get ready. All right. And we'll see how what Chris does here. Or excuse me, rather Brandon does. Here it comes right now. Come on. Load, load, and voila. I think. All right, yeah. Brandon. Let's try again with WWE. He loves it. He loves that category. Two-part question. Worth three thousand dollars, and we will give you the extra time on it, okay? Hey. Nelson Frazier Jr., who died at age 43 in 2014 was known in the WWE under all but which of these names? Is it A. Mo, B. Visera, C. Big Daddy V, or D. Maybell? That's the first one. And the second one, who was the first African American manager in WWE history? Is it A. Teddy Long, B. Charmel, C. Bobby Heenan, or D. Slick? Here's your time to think about both of them, Brandon. All right, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? Let's go ahead and do the first one, please. All right. Nelson Frazier Jr., who died at age 43 in 2014, was known in the WWE under all but which of these names? Is it A, Mo, B, Visera, C, Big Daddy V, or D, Maybell? Which of them is not? Right. I'll repeat it again. Because I'll repeat it again. Nelson Frazier Jr., who died at the age of 43 in 2014, was known in the WW was known in the WWE under all but which of these names? Is it A. Mo, B. Visera, C. Big Daddy V, or D. Maybell? It's Mo. Mo is correct. And for the center box. Who was the first African American manager in WWE history? Is it A. Teddy Long, B. Charmel, C. Bobby Heenan, or D. Slick? I'm gonna take a risk and say Teddy Long. Teddy Long is wrong. I'm sorry. Oh well. 
The answer is slick. Slick. All right. $4,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. It's back to you, Chris. Game show host puzzles, please. Did you hear Chris clap his hands when he saw that? No, puzzle. <laughs> All right. It's a two-part question worth three thousand dollars. We will give you extra time. We'll give you two sets of blanks this time. All right. <laughs> what the heck? My mind is in the gutter. Sorry, guys. Oh my god! I think I know the two. That's the first one. You may think okay. you know it. <laughs> well, I'm a mess so, him. I'm a mess up his day right here, y'all. Uh oh. Give me a good one, please. Give me. Two. All right. Okay. All right. Now here's your question. Now here's your question, Chris. The first one on right. top. The first one on top is shopping spree. And the second one on the bottom is t is um is body language. The first one on top is shopping spree, and the second one on the bottom is body language. Here's your time to think about it. Hold on. Here we go. All right, Chris, which one you want to try first? Um, second one, please. All right, body language. Spell it. Spell it. Tom K E N N E D Y. That's Tom oh, Kennedy. Uh, That's Tom Kennedy. That's right. Tom Kennedy. Okay. And, uh, and the other I, one. I was scared of that one because of what I because of the blanks. Yeah. And the other one, shopping spree. No guesses? No, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll tell you the answer. The answer is Ron Pearson. Ron Pearson. Okay. All right. All right. So we still have $4,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. And once the screen comes up, Brandon will go. On, on this way. All right, your All right. Well, let's go ahead with Game Show Host Puzzle. Game Show Host Puzzle. Take a look at this one. You can't read that okay, right? Uh, yes. Okay. It's all small on my computer screen. Ugh. Hey, how are you, brother? All right. You read it. Here's your Game Show. Family Feud. That is right. Good job. Nice. Nicely done. Six thousand dollars is in the pot, and we shuffle it. Let me, let me, my friend. You realize he got that wrong. It's your man, Steve Harvey. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Forgot about that. He's yeah. Man. Yep. Chris, what's your category? Double or nothing for the block. Going for double or nothing for the block. Okay, I'll explain to you. If you get the question right, you can choose to keep that box or risk it for another box if you want to. But you have to get this question right first. Here it is. What is the largest saltwater lake in the U.S.? Again, what is the largest saltwater lake in the U.S.? Is it Great Salt Lake? 
Yes, that is right. Now, you can choose to and keep... And I'm surprised got it. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Brody. You can choose to keep that box if you want to or risk it for another box. Be aware, if you risk it... I'm you say you keep... I'm keeping that box. He's stopping. I don't blame him. $8,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. All right, Brandon. On its way. It's on its way. It's on its way. Shut up, Nordis. Hmm. Good night. Dang it. Hmm. Let's go WWE. He's going WWE. <laughs> It's going to be a two-part question worth $3,000, and we will give you extra time on it, uh, Brandon. Here's your question. Peroxy, Peroxy Gin, are these are a two-piece American rock band based in North Carolina and formed by Shannon Moore. And which other wrestler? Is it A, Jeff Hardy, B, Gregory Helms, C, Matt Hardy, or D, Evan Karagias? That's the first one. And the second one, what was the first name of Bruno San Martino's son who wrestled at the inaugural WrestleMania? Is it A, Chris, B, David, C, Paul, or D, Luke? Here's your time to think about it. All right, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? Let's do the first one, please. All right. Perox Y. Jen are a two-piece American rock band based in North Carolina and formed by Shannon Moore and which other wrestler? Is it A, Jeff Hardy, B, Gregory Helms, C, Matt Hardy, or D, Evan Karagias? Oh, man. I'm going to take a... Big shot in the dark and say D, my final answer. Evan Karagias is wrong. I'm sorry. It's wrong. The answer was Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Oh. And the other one, what was the first name of Bruno San Martino's son who's rec who wrestled at the inaugural WrestleMania? It was David. David, okay? Oh. All right. We still have $8,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. All right, Chris. Let's give game show host a puzzle another try. All right. Two-part question worth $3,000, and we will give you the extra time, as you know. Take a look at this okay. one. These two, I should say. Mm -hmm. Give me a good one. Be good to me. That's the first one. The second one... All right, the first one is triple threat, and the second one is catchphrase. Here's your time to think about both of them. Hang on. All right, Chris, which one you want to start with first? Triple Threat. Is it John T-A-F-F-E-R? That is wrong. That is wrong. The answer is Jim Lang. Jim Lang. Oh, that was so cool. And the other one, catchphrase, was Art James. Art James. All right. We still have 8,000 in the pot. We shuffle it. All right, uh, Chris. Or rather, Brandon, rather, once he gets the screen up. Here it comes. All right. Let's do sports trivia. Going to do sports trivia. It's going to be a two-part question worth $3,000. We'll give you the extra time. Okay, here it is. Which team won the 2016 Rugby Union European Cup? Is it A, Bath, B, Sale, C, Wasp, or D, Saracens? That's the first one. And the second one, 
who scored the winning goal in the 2016 FA Cup Final? Is it A, Jesse Lingard, B, Michael Carrick, C, Wayne Rooney, or D, Juan Mata? Here's your time to think about it. All right, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? Let's go ahead and try this time the second part, please. The second part, okay. Who scored the winning goal in the 2016 FA Cup Final? Is it A, Jesse Lingard, B, Michael Carrick, C, Wayne Rooney, or D, Juan Mata? Oh, man. I'm going to take a guess and say Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney is wrong. I'm sorry. I know it. What is it? It's Jesse Lingard. That's right. Good job, Brody. And the other one, which team won the 2016 Rugby Union European Cup? It was Saracens. Saracens. I okay. still have $8,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Chris. Is Chris there? Oh, do I got to take a shot with that? Did Chris step away? Yeah, he said be, he said be right back. All right, we'll wait. Let me pause the timer. We'll just leave the video going. Yeah, I think I can remember. Uh, I think I, yeah, I remember uh, both of those questions that you asked, uh, Ronnie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was from, that was from, uh, from Bullseye, remember? Yeah. Hey there, run it back in. So we'll wait. Yeah. Are we still rolling? We're still rolling, but I'm not, oh, I'm not timing it. I'm not timing it. I have to keep my language clean, then. Still rolling? Hello, folks. Hi. Uh, what in the name of all that's holy was that? I don't think I want to know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd like to know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I, like I said, I have to keep my little a family style. Hmm. Yeah. Ain't that right, Rodney? Yeah. We have to keep this it clean on here. Good, this is good, wholesome fun. Yes. Yeah. You're a great sport. A great mm. sport. <laughs> a great <laughs> sport. And with a prize. Go on the way. Push. Wow. Win. <laughs> well, I, I don't, I can't imagine anything else. I can't imagine anything else either. That's just not a smart thing to do. I I think I'm about to edit the tape. Uh, uh, announcement now? We're waiting? We're still waiting. Well, the tape is January. Twenties in the year of our Lord two thousand and eighteen. I am less than if my if my if my math is correct. I am less than a hundred days. Is that right? I'm gonna check and make sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You me, right? I'm hundred and twelve days away from being Mister Jennifer Price. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just say yeah. <laughs> Um, four months? Yeah, four months, please. Yeah, a little under four months. Yeah. We, uh, got the hotel for our honeymoon reserved. As, and, uh, I think we're paying for it either this week or next week. Yeah, I'm sorry, YouTubers. We're waiting for Chris. Yeah, while well, I'm bragging about my uh, upcoming nuptials. Brag away, my friend. Uh, gladly. It's a good... Well, 
I'll tell you what. I, I wish that... Uh, My parents got married for 30 years now. That's awesome. That's good stuff. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm really proud of my dad. That's good stuff. It really is. 30, 30 years is one hell of a feat. You know, but, you but, know, you know but, what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play me some homescapes while I'm waiting. Y'all go ahead and talk. We have to keep this rolling. Uh, okay. Well, as I was saying, I'll turn down the music. Excuse me. That is a long time. Is awesome that my parents got married that long. My, my, my parents almost made 50 years. They made it to 49. Oh. Holy crap. I don't know. My grandparents, uh, my dad's side of the family, were married for 50, over 50 years. I think my parents I think my parents were married for 19 before they quit. My, grand, well, my grandparents uh, never divorced or anything like that. Uh, 15 years until my grandfather passed away in 2000. Right. Uh, uh, my uh, my my brother and sister in law. I've been married for twenty five years. Come July fourth. That's really cool. cool. You see, how, how are you, dude? People, can, their marriage can last longer than a celebrity's marriage. Man. <laughs> you know, I think about it. Long, happy marriage life. Do not be a celebrity. <laughs> unless, uh, unless you're smart like uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Yeah, they yeah. stayed married. They, they never did get married. Oh, they stayed. Oh, oh, wait a minute. They shacked all these years? Yeah, I have They ever got married. Why, why, why else is I like, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! <laughs> What the hell is that? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm cleaning off my uh, iPhone. I got out with nine different photos and videos. Dang. That's a lot. Oh, oh gosh, show this to you guys while we're waiting. Let's see if I can. Hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna call it for Discord chat. Brazil. 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 If, if you don't want to put my grown up folks, uh, we're just in a break, but we're, we're, but we're being crazy here. That That's all. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. I beat the level, too, while we're waiting. Uh, I thought I beat the level. Didn't I? No. Yeah, I beat uh, the let's level. See. But let's, see what, let's see what else I have. My collect. La, la, la. Is he back? Yeah, it's just kidding. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Chris okay. is back? Uh, for, Alright, let's... For, for those of you... I'm sorry, are we on? Yeah, Chris is back. Alright, I'll shut up. Alright, no problem. Let right. me start the timer. Okay, it's your turn, Chris. Okay. Hmm, what can I go with? Let's do double or nothing again. He's gonna do double or nothing again, okay. Here's a question on the double or nothing. What is the chemical symbol for calcium? What is the chemical symbol for calcium? What is, what is the, repeat that question again. What is the chemical symbol for calcium? I'm looking for an element symbol for calcium. C-A? CA is correct. Okay, now you can choose. You can choose to keep that box if you want to, or you can risk it for another box. Then you know if you mess up in that other box, you can lose them both. What do you want to do? I'm gonna keep that box. He's gonna keep it. Me. Fair enough. 
We have $10,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. And when Brandon sees it, Going sports trivia for the block, you know it's a two-part question, and you'll get the extra time. Here's your question on sports trivia. How often does the National Football League Super Bowl occur again? How, how often does the National Football League Super Bowl occur? Is it A, every five years, B, every four years, C, every two years, or D, every year? That's the first one. And the second one, what is the diameter of the throwing circle used in the shot put in the shot put track and field event is it a 10 feet b 7 feet c 12 feet or d 5 feet here's your time to think about it all right brandon which part you want to answer first let's do the first one all right how often does the National Football League Super Bowl occur? Is it A, every five years, B, every four years, C, every two years, or D, every year? It's every year. That's an easy one, yes. And for the center box, what is the diameter of the throwing circle used in the shot put track and field event? Is it A, 10 feet, B, 7 feet, C, 12 feet, or D, 5 feet? I am going to take a guess and say seven feet. Nicely done. You got the center box. $13,000 in the pot. We have three boxes left. Let's shuffle. And it's back to Chris. Game show puzzle. Game show host puzzle for the block. Okay. Here's your, here's your question on game show host puzzle. Take a look at this one. And here's your question. The Gong Show. The Gong Show. Is it Gong Show? Yeah, the Gong Show. <clears throat> is it is it um The um, is it Mike Myers? Yes, under the wire. Good job. Wow. That was scary. Don't do that to me again. Good job. And he plays the role of Tommy Matlin, okay? $15,000 okay. in the pot. We have two boxes left. Let's see what happens. I also heard that original host died, too. Yes, he did. Did. Yes. All right, um, oh, hang on. All right, uh, critical <laughs> right here. Brandon? All right. The way you stand, Brandon, and I think you have a shot of oh, Let's do the $10,000 question for the win. All right, you get Good this. Luck. Now, you get this $10,000 question right, Brandon. It'll be tic tac go $25,000, and your winnings will be at $90,447, okay? Okay. Here's your ten. Here's your ten thousand dollar question. What are baby koalas called? What are baby koalas called? Sorry. No guess. Okay. The answer, they're Joey's. They're Joey's. Okay. Really? I yeah, didn't know that. They're Joey's. Yeah. 15, I would have guessed, I would have guessed Cubs. Yeah. Joey's. I, yeah. I would have guessed too. Yeah. $15,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. 
See, you learn something new on this show all the time. You do. Oh yeah. All right, Chris. What's your strategy? Let's go sports trivia for the win. All right, Chris. You get this question right on sports trivia. It'll be tic tac toe. Seventeen thousand dollars, and your wins will be at two hundred and three thousand two hundred twelve dollars. Okay. Um, let's hear it. Here's your sports trivia question. Set in 1962. What basketball star holds the NBA record for most points in a single game? Is it A. Oscar Robinson? Is it A. Oscar Robinson? B. Shaquille O'Neal? C. Michael Jordan? Or D. Wilt Chamberlain? Can you repeat that question again? You were cutting out a little bit. Yeah, I'll repeat it again. Set in 1962, what basketball star holds the NBA record for most points in a single game? Is it A, Oscar Robertson, B, Shaquille O'Neal, C, Michael Jordan, or D, Wilt Chamberlain? What was the answer choice? One more time, please. A, Oscar Robertson, B, Shaquille O'Neal, C, Michael Jordan, or D, Wilt Chamberlain? Is it Oscar Robertson? Oscar Robertson is wrong. He has, no, Oscar no, Robertson no. had the most triple doubles, not the most points. It was Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 points in a basketball game. Yep. So, okay. Brandon, has been sa Brandon has been saved and we shuffle. All right. I'm so dead. And let's see. Wait a minute. I'm going to be a little more quick about this. Hang on. Mm-hmm. All right, which one, Brandon? You know what? Game Show Host Puzzle for the win. All right, and you get this question right on Game Show Host Puzzle. It'll be tic-tac-toe, $17,000, and your wins will be at $82,447. Take a look at this one. Oh, gosh. This is for victory here. Good luck, Brandon. Excuse me. All right, here it is. The Joker's Wild. Oh, man. Good luck. All right. Goodness. No guess, Ronnie. Whoa! I'm shocked at that. Audience! I know it. Where is it, audience? Say it together. It's, it's, it's Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Oh, Snoop Dogg. Dogg. Yeah. Oh, oh, you should have said it. Oh, it's Yeah, Chris. Chris has been saved. Hey, somebody put a touch camp on Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> Chris has been saved. Fifteen thousand dollars is in the pot, we shuffle. I don't believe that. I don't either. Alright, Chris. Ten thousand dollar question, please, for the win. Alright, you get this question right on the ten thousand dollar question, it'll be tic tac doe. Twenty-five thousand dollars in your winnings. If my math serves correctly, it's two hundred and Two hundred and eleven thousand two hundred twelve dollars. I'll wow. get a calculator just in case if I'm wrong. Here it is. Okay. Here's, here's your ten thousand dollar question. What rocker's first album was named Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey? Can you repeat that? You were cutting in a little bit. Yes. Let me repeat it again. What rocker's first album was named Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey? What rocker's first album was named Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey? Mm. Oh my gosh, what is it? Is it... Is it... Time's ah. up. Time's oh, up. Too. What was the answer, y'all? It's Bruce 
Springsteen. Yeah, Bruce Springsteen. All right. Oh, so Brandon is. Oh, been... oh, I'm in the USA. <laughs> So Brandon has been saved again. We shuffle. Old singer. All right, Brandon. He's got a way for me. Yep. Come on. Don't tell me nobody's winning yet. Not yet. All right, coming up. Who's taking boxes left? We have two boxes left. Here it comes. Let's try this again. Sports trivia for the win. All right, and you get Good this luck. question right on sports trivia, Brandon. It'll be Tic Tac Doe, $17,000 and $82,447, okay? Here's your question. Which color of ball would you not find on a snooker table? Again, which color of ball would you not find on a snooker table? Is it A, orange? B, yellow, C, red, or D, pink? Can you repeat the question? You're cutting out just a little bit. Which color of ball would you not find on a snooker table? Is it A, orange, B, yellow, C, red, or D, pink? I am going to take a guess. Good luck. Let's do shot in the dark. C, final answer. Red. Red is wrong. I'm sorry. There's plenty of red balls on the table. It's orange. Orange. Oh, orange. I would have gone with that. Yeah, ping pong battle. 15,000 still in the pot. We shuffle. Give me a good category. It'd be good to be here. All right, Chris. Take a letter for the win. All right, take a letter for the win. You get this question right on take a letter. It'll be tic-tac-doe. $17,000 in your winnings. We'll be at $203,212, okay? Here's your question. Take a letter. Your letter is S, and I'm looking for a last name here. A last name. Okay. Your, letter, your letter is S. What writer is known as the Bard? What writer is known as the Bard? I'm looking for a last name. The Bar. Is it Stephen Bars S U D A I L I? That's wrong. I'm sorry. It's Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Ah. William Shakespeare. All right, we shuffle. We might only have one game tonight. <laughs> There's maybe Mike. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, uh, Brandon. I'm so done. All right. WWE for the win. All right. You get this question right on WWE. It'll be tic-tac-doe, $17,000, and your winnings will be at $82,447. Here's your question. The executioner who wrestled the first match at the first WrestleMania against Tito Santana more famously wrestled under what name? Is it A, The Undertaker, B, Playboy, Buddy Rose, C, King Kong Bundy, or D, Big John Studd? Can you repeat the question for me? Because you're cutting out just a bit. Okay, let me do it again. The executioner who wrestled the first match at the first WrestleMania against Tito, T against C, let me try again. Let me get it straight. Calm down, Rodney. The first executioner who wrestled the first match at the first WrestleMania against Tito Santana was more famously wrestled under what name? Is A, The Undertaker, B, Playboy, Butter Playboy Buddy Rose, C, King Kong Bundy, or D, Big John Studd? I am going to say B, my final answer. Playboy Buddy Rose? Yes. Yeah, take that, though. There we go. We got there. All right, $17,000, uh, Brandon. Nicely done. You have won a total of $82,447. And more importantly, you're going to play the 
beat the Dragon game shortly, okay? Well, uh, Brent, well, well, uh, Chris, you did well by winning over $186,000. You're uh, fourth on the leaderboard, I believe, okay? Yeah, I think so, yes. I'm a, it's okay. I'm a two-time jackpot winner, so uh, it's, it's, I'm okay. Good luck, Brandon. Thanks, Chris, for playing. Thank you, Chris. All right, Brandon Martin. God, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, you ready to do the Beat the Dragon game? Well, yes, let's beat that dragon again. Let's Good do luck, the Beat Brandon. the Dragon game. We're giving away the jackpot regularly now. Love that. All right, uh, Brandon, you know there's nine numbers on the board, and the object is for you to reach $10,000 or get the ticket in the tank before seeing the dragon. Oh, my gosh. Reach $10,000 or more or get the ticket in the tank. We have these prizes for you. Here the prizes. It's in our arm with the 34-inch white-speed TV at Barrel Sauna. We took a tune to Alaska. A grand for clock. Floor clock. We were grouped with two Tiffany lamps. Those places are valued at 25,220. Thanks, uh, Justin. Now, if you manage to get the tick and attack on any of your picks, it'll be a $25,000 bonus and you'll get a shot at a new car. Do it on your first two picks. We'll double that bonus to $50,000 and you'll have that shot at a new car, okay? Okay. Here we go. Let's cover up the board. If you're ready to go, go ahead and start picking. Good luck. All right. Let's start off right in the middle. Number five. Let's see what's in number five. It's $3,000. Okay, stop or go. Let's go on and go with number three, please. Let's see what's behind number three. $4,000. You have $7,000. Stop or go. With number seven. All right. All you need is $3,000. You got the prize package. Let's see what's behind number seven. There's the tick. Oh. Now you find the, um, the tag. We give you um, a $25,000 bonus. We'll donate $5 to Cancer Research. Stop or go? Let's go and go with number nine. Okay. Is, is tag behind number nine? You did it. Oh. <laughs> We're red hot on this game! Nice job, Brandon. Thank you, Chris. Alright, so that's another $25,000 bonus. We donate $5 to Cancer Research. Um, let's see where the uh, dragon was. Number two, baby? Eight. Eight. Let's see. Is it oh, number, four? number four? Number four. So that uh, bonus round was worth $60,229 to you, um, um, Brandon. Now, let's see what car you could be playing for, Justin. Here's the car. You'll win a 2016 Ford Mustang with $36,925. Thank you, um. Thank you, Justin. Now, if you, if you find the car, Brandon, your winnings will be at over $170,000, I think, maybe $180,000. Where's the car at? Tick or tack? Let's go for this and say tick. Okay. Good luck. Is the car behind tick? No, not this time. Oh. Not this time. We only gave away one car this season so far. But Brandon, you have $60,229. We had your previous winnings of $82,000. $447, that gives you a grand total of $142,676. All right. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll do one more game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Stick with us, won't you?